Hello and welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel and thank you for checking out this video. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. And for the people who don't know me, I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that will help you to understand how to grow a YouTube channel, how to create a WordPress website, and also how to understand affiliate marketing for beginners. In this video, I am going to be showing you on a tablet how you can add your branding for your YouTube channel. I am going to be continuing the series that I started on how to create a brand YouTube channel. This is going to be done all on a tablet and a cell phone. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. The first place that you want to go is to your Chrome. So we're just going to go to Chrome. <coughs> this is what you need to find your Chrome. Once you're at your Chrome, you want to go to your YouTube. And you can just go to youtube.com. You will find your avatar in the top right hand corner. Tap on your avatar and go to your YouTube studio. On the left hand corner, scroll down until you find the what it looks like a paintbrush and click into the paintbrush. This is your customization. We will be covering layout in the next video, but in this video, we are covering branding. Under branding, you have your profile picture, your banner image, and your watermark. Now, I am going to show you very quickly how you can create these three. Now, remember, this is your YouTube, this is your brand YouTube channel. So, you want to create a profile picture that will have your brand name on it. Then, you want to create a channel art that will have your brand name on it. And also, the two should look good together. Then you want to create your subscribe. So, let's get started. Go over to your Play Store. And install the app Canva. Open it up. Create a design. Custom size. 800 by 800. Oh, sorry. 800 by 800. Create your design. Here you will see templates, uploads, photos, elements, text, styles that you can choose from. Or pictures from your own phone. For this video tutorial, we are going to be doing a basic profile picture. And the easiest way that I have found to do a basic profile picture is to go to Photos, choose a photo for your background. Now you can choose any element that you like, but I found this way works the best. And here you can, this plus sign down here, you can add anything else. You can change your template, add an upload, add other photos. If you choose elements and type in the element that you are looking for, for instance, YouTube, you can choose other types of elements to add to your photo, whatever you like. And you can edit it simply by using these editing circles that you see 
at the edge of your element, depending on the element itself. And you can also add your text simply by clicking on text, add a heading, move your text around, add your text by clicking into the editing box and typing in your text. You can add a photo of yourself or you can add an avatar. Anytime you want to take something off your canvas, you would just click on this trash can. That will remove it. With your text, you can change the font. You can change the size. You can change the color. And you have many other different edits that you can make. An underline, a line, you can capitalize, use bullets. You can make your letters closer together, or further apart. You can make your lines closer. I am just going to change this color to white. There, that's easier. And also, you can add an element at any time. Just tap on your image and tap on the plus, and you can add any elements. For this basic profile picture, I am just going to add a shape. And I'm going to look for another element. You can add your own photo, or you can add an avatar. Just going to add this one for now. And this profile picture is done. Just going to save this to my file manager. Now I'm going to go back into my Canva. Create another design. Custom size. And I am going to type in 2048. That's 2048 pixels by 1152. And this is going to be my channel art. Now, I have found from ex experience what works best for channel art is just doing a photo. And I am going to use the same photo that I use for my profile picture. And I'm just going to make it the whole canvas. And then I'm going to add a, an element, which is a shape. And I'm going to make sure that I have it. You'll see these purple lines coming up. So this will tell you where you are in your document. So this is basically the middle. And then I'm going to add a little bit of text here. Now, I don't want to take too long in doing this. And you can basically do the same thing with your text that I showed you and doing with your profile picture, all the different types of edits you can do. And around 35 to 40 is good for your, for your text. And around this area in the middle is where you will be able to see it on your YouTube channel. And I'm going to change the color to white to match my profile picture. And now I'm going to add my brand name.
the name of my YouTube brand channel. Now, this is still too big, so, oops, I don't want to do that right now. So, I am going to click out of there and go into my edit. 35 is too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, and sort of in the middle. Up a little bit because we want to have it see where this line is. Oops. Now, another thing you will notice is when you click into something, you can see position. So this position is backwards. If I have it forwards, it will go on top of my text. And if I have it backwards, it will go behind my text. You could do that with any of your elements. So then when you are done, you will just click done. So this is just an easy way to do a YouTube brand channel art by putting your brand name and having a nice photo in the background. And then I will save this design. In my file manager. Editing. So now I'm going to go back into the home of my Canva. And I'm going to create another design. And the custom size is going to be type in 300 by 300 to create the design. The easiest way that I found how to do the watermark, which is actually your subscribe that appears of your video, is to go to elements and to type in subscribe. Choose any one of these subscribes. And here you can make it bigger, make it fit to your canvas. And then element Type in YouTube and choose a YouTube icon or a, a YouTube illustration. And then make it bigger so that it fits. Tap on your background. Make sure you are on your background. And make your back background red. And now tap on your icon. And instead of it being black, have it being white. So now this is your subscribe, and then you would just download this to your file manager. Now you would go back into your Chrome, into your branding, and start uploading. First, your profile. That you created. Then your channel art that you created. Now I haven't found a way how to be able to crop this so you may have to go on your computer to fix this. Okay. And then upload your your last one, which is going to be your subscribe. When you are done, you click publish. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, so you will be notified of all other videos that I am posting. For the next video in this series, we are going to be looking at doing a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed yet. So this will be a channel trailer for your YouTube brand channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the, the comments. I will get back to them as soon as I can. Until then, be safe.
and have a wonderful day.